Have you ever wondered how this becomes this? Hi, today I'm going to show you how to remove the background from your videos using a green screen on a Windows PC. Let's go. Hi, my name is Odin Aman Stiki, aka Pakistani Pepper. On this channel, I do teaching and tech tutorials like this one, so if you're new here, consider subscribing. To get this background behind me, I've used a green screen, which is basically a screen that lets you replace it easily in editing. These green screens are fairly inexpensive and you can get them at any photography store or even general stores like Amazon or Walmart. So the first thing you need to do is set up this green screen behind you. I have a collapsible green screen, so it just collapses into a box when I'm done using it. But in your case, you can just use anything that you can put up on a wall and as long as it covers the area behind you and there's a camera in front of you, you can remove it in editing. Quick note, whatever you want in the video, you want to make sure it stays in front of the green screen Otherwise, it's going to get deleted in editing. When recording your footage, also make sure that you're setting a good distance away from the green screen. Otherwise, the light can bleed onto the screen, which makes it more difficult to edit. So the tool we're gonna use is called HitFilm Express, which is a really nice free tool that lets you use a lot of advanced level effects. It's used by amateur filmmakers. There's a pro version if you want more capacity, but for basic purposes, the Express version, which is free, should be fine. They have a really nice online community that can offer a lot of information along with a bunch of YouTube tutorials. I also have an editing tutorial on the basics of the thing, which I'll link above. So now that we're done recording, we're going to edit the unnecessary footage away, for which we're going to go into HitFilm Express on the PC. Let's head on over. Begin by opening HitFilm. On the top left, you're going to be given a new project. These specifications don't matter as much, but the one you really want to focus on is duration, and you want to keep this the duration of your video project, minus five minutes. At this point, you're going to come across this interface. On the top left, you have a media button and under it, it says import. Click on it to import the videos you will be using. I will be using this green screen footage as the front of my video and behind it, I want a picture. I'm now going to take the media with the green screen and bring it to the timeline. Notice how this media is on video one and it has its own audio. For the purpose of the demo, I'm muting the audio. As you can see, it's me speaking in front of the camera and there is a green screen behind me. Before I can make any changes and add this other picture there, I need to make sure that I actually edit away the green screen. On the left bottom where it says effects, I'm going to type in green. That's going to bring a few features related to green screening. The one we want is this one, green screen key. I'm going to drag that effect on top of my video. As you can see, it removed the green screen behind me. And now there's just a blank space where I can put some things. Notice how there's a little bit of my room on the right side that is visible because that's the part that fell outside of my green screen when I was recording. An easy way to resolve that is to click on this button that says rectangle mask and you're going to mask only the part that has you. As you can see, now everything else outside of me that was not in the green screen and not in the room is gone. Now that I am clear and I have only what I want in front, I'm going to go back to media and I'm going to bring the picture to my timeline. Now, this picture, as you can see, is currently in front. I want to make sure it actually is the length of my entire project, so meaning it's going to be behind my video at all times. But because it's in front, I need to make sure that it now goes behind. So what I'm going to do is just for a moment, move my actual green screen footage front, bring my picture background to video one 
And now I can move my other video up so that it's ahead of the Naruto picture. As you can see, the picture is now in my background. Now, obviously, sizing-wise, you may have differences, but an easy way to fix that is click on the picture background, right-click, transform, fit to frame. And now, as you can see, the picture is in my background. And that is, on a very simple level, what you can do with a green screen and head fill. Remove it, replace it, and by clicking on this button on the bottom right, export, you can prepare it to share it with the world. Finally, it's time to share your project with the world. You could upload it to YouTube and get wonderful comments like, you suck or your voice is annoying, which is really the best part of producing something for YouTube. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, consider liking and subscribing. And if you have any questions or comments, please do leave them in the comments below and I'll answer to the best of my ability. This is Pax Annie Pepper, AKA Abdurrahman Siddiqui, saying peace out, stay peppery, and don't forget, Sometimes life's best lessons are in the stories we hear least. Have an awesome day, guys.